Okay, so um, I'm gonna make this video because um, we need a new video for the week, all right? Um, this is my watercolor sketchbook. This is full of some of the best and w the worst that I have to offer. People on Instagram like these a lot. I do not know why. There's only one or two in here that I'm very, very proud of. And one is not even a watercolor painting. But without further ado, let's open my book of secrets. It's not great, but here we go. Um, this is the first one. This dig on the stand. This is the first one. Um, this is a painting of a Christian man with Ventiligo. I do not know his name. I'll put his Instagram in the description. This took, I took so long to draw this. If you go on my Instagram, there are a lot of progress shots of this drawing. But you know what? I didn't even open up this video. Hi viewers, welcome to the video. I don't know. Um, it, I'm nervous because this sketch was really bad. Um, as you can see, I didn't understand the process of using the scotch tape. I used this tape one time, which is duct tape, which had, I lost the whole picture because of it because I'm a full blown idiot. And this is scotch tape and I have like six rolls of this and I've used about four of them. Um, I didn't understand the concept of a heat gun. I didn't have a heat gun yet. This was a while back. And this was the first one. I know you hear them yelling. This is, I don't know, I found this one with a picture on Pinterest and I wanted to try a different way of using watercolor. Um, I like this one. I like this one because the background, it looks cool with the, um, all the colors and stuff. I didn't know, I did, I never, I never, at this time I wasn't looking at watercolor tutorials. I was just trying to wing them and just do them on my own without really any help whatsoever. Um, I was just like, oh, I can do it. So I would go over this stuff with colored pencils, which isn't a bad thing, but the issue is that it, I want a realistic skin. I wasn't able to, and at the time, as you can see from both of these, I was very obsessed with drawing people with vitiligo. I have another sketchbook um, with some more people with vitiligo, but vitiligo, I said vitiligo, this is N to T. Um, they both have vitiligo, and um, I wanted to draw them with it. Um, so, yeah, on to the next one. I don't know what I was doing with this. It was just a happy-go-lucky watercolor picture. I think this was around the time that I learned how to control the water a little bit more, rather than trying to force it all out. I was watching Intervention on a &E on Hulu because that is one of my favorite shows. It's depressing, but it's one of my favorites. Let me adjust this just a little bit. It's a little bit, the show is depressing, but you know, it's good. Um, this is Berry Party. I was still learning how to control the water and watercolor and use micron pens with my stuff. But what I've come to understand is that I don't think I'm going to be doing that anymore. I think I'm just going to kind of leave everything up to my lights and my darks and trusting myself, trusting God to do the best with these things. But yeah, they're just fruits in a tree, no more, no less. This is, um, I did a drawing. I did this drawing on, um, on YouTube. Yeah, this is a dude with the seashell around his neck and stuff. Um, I like sketching on watercolor paper more than I do regular paper. It's, I like the texture, like how thick it is. Um, but yeah, this is one of the portraits I did. I did was it a commission? No, but I did end up using a black Crayola pencil because I needed it. I've never drawn a nose so neat past this, by the way. This is like the most neat nose I've ever drawn in my life, and I'm really sad I can't replicate it. But is what happens when you try extra hard on one thing and not with as much effort in others. On to the next one. Now this was one I was supposed to finish but I haven't yet. Um, this right here being the reason. This one is an incomplete drawing of Alma. I have her from Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Super. I'm just going to do a version of her Dragon Ball Z. And then I was going to do the realistic version of her in Tribute of Alma. Um, her act of passing away. It was really sad because Bulma is actually like one of my favorite characters from Dragon Ball Z. And I was like, no, why did she die? And I wonder who's gonna play her voice in newer episodes. I wonder who's gonna record in her position because very distinct. 
um, voice, and I don't know what they're gonna do. I'm kind of upset because I really, really, really like Balma. Like Balma definitely is like top tier character. She's she's good stuff. Like you know what I'm saying. And it's kind of it's really sad because you kind of get attached to the characters, and you can see like throughout time the hairstyles that she was wearing were the same ones as Balma. Like she has this low cut here, and Super Balma has this really low cut. And it's really sad because like when you like a character, you don't you want them to stay, but she passed away. God bless the dead. And it's like I'm not suffering through the loss of a character. It's just weird because I really like Boma. I really like Dragon Ball Z. It's one of my favorite anime. And it's yeah, it's it. Like it's one of my favorite anime. And she's definitely one of my favorite characters. She's the backbone. She's like, you know, you guys, she's been there since as long, as long as Goku, and the fact that she's gone is really weird, like, you know, um, but that's a very sad soliloquy I just did. I do not know what I named this one, but this is one of the ones I just did recently. Um, <clears throat> it's basically like, I wanted to represent, this is not my face, if it was, this face is beautiful, this face is amazing. I don't, I wish I had that face, um, but I wanted to represent like somebody breaking out of reality into their imagination. Um, I like doing my little doodle cartoons. A lot of people seem to like them too. Um, I like, oh, and th at this point, I did have a grasp of the heat gun, by the way. Um, that's super important. Um, I did have a grasp of the heat gun. I, it, I wanted to represent like somebody coming out of like, oh all this seriousness doom and gloom that's why it's all gray into a world of their own imagination kind of splitting the barrier and coming through and in, into any pattern they want because it's true like as adults we do work really hard and we don't have time to imagine all the time so we're kind of forced to um put our feelings and stuff on the wayside and put them in the background and um you know i got i got my grass duck right here yeah quack quack it's kind of like um, ducks are like the great, the best bird too. They're right up there with like eagles, but um, and falcons. Bat, a bat is not a bird. I don't know why I just said that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to represent like living in the imagination for a little while, you know, and dealing with the fact that you can't stay, which is why he's not in there fully. Just his face. He gets to look into it but he can never stay because he has to go back to being an adult after a while. You hear my family in the background. Yeah. These are, um, no, don't fall, please. Okay, cool. These are my friends from chemistry. These are my friends from chemistry. And we were studying and they just kept going and I was like, I'm gonna paint you guys. So I took a picture of them <laughs> and I brought it home and I drew it and then I painted them and they were really surprised. Um, there's this girl, my friend Alyssa. This girl, oh my God, I'm tired. My friend Alyssa keeps making a comment about this cup. I understand that this may be the best part of the drawing. Okay, but she doesn't have to keep talking about it, okay? This cup is good. It's not, it is It is the best part of this drawing, by the way. It is most definitely the best part of this drawing. But regardless, I like everything that came from. I like the values, kinda. I just, I don't know. I have another drawing in a different sketchbook of purely one color for some reason. If you look, if you remember my last sketchbook tour, my halfway I'm trash sketchbook tour, cause I am. Um, You'll see the um, the ink pen thing that I made. Yeah, this was an attempt at that controlling it on the watercolor and learning how to use it to apply hues. But as you can see, it kind of flopped, but not really. Um, on this page, the practice is more shown. Like you can kind of see that. Okay, yeah, it's a weird little doodle, but it's very apparent. Like, I got used to using it, but sadly, that pen died after a while. It sucks, but it did, it died. Like, the acrylic ink 
like dried up in the front of where the water would come out. It was one of the aqua jet pens or aqua gel or something. Um, this is where I actually started listening to tutorials and following through and actually like listening to people and trying to follow the tutorial. I just said that and um, practice watercolors properly. But uh, you fell through, huh? Mm -hmm. So now I have two videos to edit because my nephew just came up in here. Um, <laughs> I, this is where I started listening to practicing and I started like doing little tiny environments. There's a, a I think it's like Nian Sha, I can't say his name for my life because I just look at his videos and try to avert his name. But he's an Indian watercolor artist, I believe, or South Asian, I don't know. But uh, nonetheless, he's an amazing watercolor artist and I just followed him along. And although I do not apply his techniques to everything that I do, because I've definitely been, that's just not my forte, I have um, paid enough attention to apply him a little bit. He does more environments -y stuff, I don't. And um, he's a master at the 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 uh, medium too so there you go <laughs> you know but um yeah you should i'm up right i think it's like right here but yeah i do it right there is where i put that little thing so you guys can click it um i followed it again on a smaller scale and i practice controlling water i practice controlling the water in watercolor and i practice controlling um, shades, I practice mixing colors. I wanted to try the sphere technique, but I got too scared and I quit. Um, but what I did learn, um, I was learning to control the water and try to keep it at the circle. That was one thing like I have known, like I think my favorite brush in watercolor are the round brushes. I think that they do, they do the best work. They are, for my opinion, the best brush for watercolor. I'll always say that though. I don't know, I just have an affinity for them. But um, I'm just learning how to control the water. This was what this was about. And this was actual um, like pigment to water ratio practice. Um, basically you get a concentration of your pigment. You go across and you try to lightest to darkest. And I didn't listen, I guess. And I went too deep into the dark. Cause <laughs> Uh, it was so stupid because the top layer, the top line, is just pure pigment, which was dumb. I just shouldn't have done it. But hey, this is more practice. This is this is like me doing practices, like tutorial work. Just learn how to use the medium better. But I really think that's it. Yeah, this sketchbook doesn't have a lot of pages. I, I think I ripped out two pages because of me being dumb using markers or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, these are practices. Flat, flat gradient. I mean, flat then gradient. Wet on wet, wet to dry. Um, dry to wet. Dual colors. This is supposed to be yellow and green, but it just looks like a super light green. I don't use. I tried using wet on wet, and one of the speed paints. One of my speed paints I put up on Instagram. I tried using wet on wet, and it came out terrible. So. Long story short, I won't be doing that again. Um, at least not now, it just takes practice. I think that's it, yeah, that's it for the sketchbook. Um, thank you again for watching. I know this video is terrible. And there's noises in the background, cause you know, I live with a family. But yeah, I love, um, I do recommend this brand of sketchbook. Um, it may look, that's an ugly finger. Um, they, it may look pretty basic. I really do enjoy Canson sketchbooks. I have a Canson Bristol um, for I got for Christmas a while back. I have um, a Canson. I have two Canson, three Canson mixed media, a really large pad, a, real, a medium sized pad, a small pad, and then like the sketchbook from the last tour. So yeah, thank you again for watching. If you like this video. Uh, like the video, fudge, then then uh, comment. I didn't cuss this whole time, did I? High five for me. Hot, high five. Um, I didn't cuss. Yes, high five for me, cause that takes a lot of energy. I must be really tired. Um, if you like this video, like it. If you like it that much, you will also comment, say something like, "Hey, those drawings were terrible," or "They were great," or one or the other. And you know what you should really do if you like it. 
you should really subscribe. You really should. I don't like saying this stuff. I just think that's what you're supposed to say. But technically speaking, if I never ask you to do it, you don't have to use it. But you, I'm, I'm tired. I'm talking like an idiot. I'm babbling. Look, like, comment, and subscribe. Do whatever you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. You stay up, be blessed, and have a have a great day or night or whenever you're watching this. Just bye.